My name is Arezu Ramazani, and I'll be your host for Arezu R podcast. Firstly, I need to say that the name Arezu R was just a name that I chose for my social media back in 2013, and I'm using this name since then. So make sure if you want to find me somewhere, you can just search for Arezu Art. This episode is basically just an introduction about me and this podcast. So if you just want to know a little bit about me, like so many other artists, I was always so enthusiastic about art and I had a passion for theater, music, especially painting. But I was around um, 15 or 16 that I discovered that animation world is so vast and there are so many people working in this industry. And since then, I was always like reading about animation and even that there was no Facebook and such. I, I used to find all the artists that I love in Blogspot and contact them and ask them my question. So back in that time, when I finally decided to change my major from maths to art, uh, there was no BA in uh, animation in Iran. So I studied visual communication in Art University of Tehran. And later for my master, I studied animation. After that, I went to UK and I got my second master's in animation production from Art University Bournemouth. So because I was such a geek back in that time, uh, I used to read a lot. I mean, I still do, but I read a lot about animation and the history of art, watching movies, watching animation, and just learn more about it. So I was really passionate to share what I learned with other people as well. That's why I finally decided to make a podcast. And I'm really excited and super stoked to finally be here and doing this. And I really do hope that you guys enjoy it as well. So basically on this podcast, we are going to hear a lot about animation and anything related to it, um, including interviews, books, festivals, and so many more. Also, I might have some interviews with uh, other artists that are not in animation industry but I just love especially in the interviews I really find speaking with other artists and other people really inspiring and uh, I just think that getting to know other people can also somehow lead you on your way and you learn about other people's journey and kind of can add those tips and hints in your life and apply them into your work so um, hopefully it can help in so many ways and and um, that would be fun as well. So if you're working professionally in animation or you're a student or you're just interested in this major and you just love to know more about other peoples and people who are working in this industry, I really do recommend this podcast to you because we are going to learn so much together and hopefully it's gonna be useful for you as well. Let's see what animation means. Animation actually comes from the Latin word animar, which means to give life to. And according to Paul Wells, it means that the artificial creation of the illusion of movement in inanimated lines and forms. So basically, when you are painting or even you are photographing something frame by frame, you are creating this illusion of movement in an inanimate lines or objects. Basically, you are bringing it back to life, which means that you are animating. The history of animation actually is way more than the history of of cinema. Of course, it goes back to the time that our ancestors were trying to attempt to capture the movements of animals or huntings in cave paintings. And later, you can find these images in Shahr Sukhta of Iran and in Greece pottery. Also, there are a lot of evidence in uh, Egyptian murals. Later in the history, as the technology was kind of improving, there were so many inventors creating these different instruments such as zoetrope, phenakistoscope, and so many other things. They probably have weird names, but trust me, even to this day, they're really fun to make. So if you just simply Google them, you can find a lot of good tutorials 
of how to making them. Later, when a uh, camera was invented and then uh, cinema started to um, establish a little bit more, directors such as George Melis, Lumiere Brothers, they use these tricks in their movies that um, they also give this illusion of life, which is kind of animation. So from an early day of cinema, we also had animation right next to it. One of the most well-known animation that has been survived from a very early days is Phantasma Grey by Emil Cole. It's a traditional hand-drawn animation that was drawn frame by frame on a, a negative of a film. It's a stick man moving around and doing different things, which is really fun. But one of the very first animation uh, that has character design on it, and uh, that's how we get to know animation these days, like by characters, is Gertie the Dinosaur by Windsor Backe back in 1914. Gertie is actually a very shy and cute dinosaur. But what is interesting is that it was back in silent era of cinema. So how this movie was performed is really interesting because it was like a circus performance. So they were playing the movie uh, in the cinema and Windsor Mackey was on the stage and um, talking with Gertie. Pretty much like a theater show or a circus show. But can you imagine how fun it was as a sort of uh, first animation of the history? I bet that must be really interesting. So by 19th century, animation kind of finds its own way. And it's established even more and we are seeing Fleischer Brothers studio and they made nominal animations such as Out of the Inkwell back in 1918 and then we have Felix the Cat which is one of the most well-known characters before the rise of Disney and Mickey Mouse. Talking about Disney a lot of people think that the first animation feature of the history is Snow White and Seven Dwarfs by Walt Disney but actually we had a phenomenal artist called Lotte Reiniger, and she made the adventures of Prince Ahmed back in 1926. Her style is pretty much unique because she's a pioneer of silhouette animation. But of course, until 1920s, um, when Walt Disney stopped working, he brought a lot of innovations into the animation world. And of course, no one can deny it. He made the first animation with sound, first animation with color, and so many more innovations that are known uniquely for Walt Disney. I just want to stop here and tell you something that I just think the Walt Disney's name is so big that a lot of people just associate animation generally with Disney's name. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Walt Disney. I grew up with the movies, but I also really want to teach the world that animation is really more than just mainstream animations. Even back in that time, we had really, really great artists coming from European countries, especially Eastern Europe. We even have Zagreb School. Russian and Japanese animations are phenomenal. And there are so many artists around the world that are just so great, but they're working as an independent artist or their work are mostly just going around festivals and not so many people know them. And that's where this podcast is going going to open this whole world for the people that are um, not knowing much about it and I really would love to tell more about like different styles of animation, different artists and just tell you that animation is not for kids. Like come on. It's just like movies. We have animation for adults and there are so many genres in animation. We have experimental, abstract, documentary and so much more. Also the styles and techniques are so different and there are a lot of variety. We have hand-drawn 2D animation, we have CGI and computer animation, and we have 3D stop motion, which is a whole new word. We have like claymations, puppets, cut out silhouettes, and even pixelation. And I really do hope that in this podcast we can talk about all these styles, all these techniques, all these people, and just generally learn more about animation. I really do hope that 
that you guys stick around and the future episodes will be interesting for you. This podcast is going to publish in both languages, Farsi and English, and you can find me in different platforms. If you are interested, you can also follow me on my Instagram under the same name, Arizu Art, where I'm actually posting more about uh, animation related stuff and posting the visuals or whatever I'm talking on the podcast. So I really do hope that you enjoy this introduction. If you do so, I truly appreciate if you spread the word and share this podcast with your friends. Thanks all for listening. This is Arzu. Until next time, I see you very soon. Thank you.